to Miracle Sudoku. Today we're going to be playing level 2. So I was thinking about the logic behind this uh, yesterday when I was trying to fall asleep. Uh, the most you could stretch out a number without being consecutive would be 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. So since this is a five digit thing, I can use that already. I can do the same thing here. Now where does two go in this box? Can't go next to the one or the three. So it must go there. Same here. It's got kind of a mirroring of logic. Where does 4 go? Can't be next to the 3. Only got two twos. Not super useful yet. get, and another get, and this x-wing right there, which interestingly enough removes four possibilities from both of those squares. Not sure how useful that is. Fives now. This be a five. I don't think it could because if this were a five, then it would need to go five. Can't be six. That would have to be seven or eight. And then after eight, that can't be nine. So this can't be a seven, and this can't be a seven because it's next to a six. Did I misplay? I thought this 7 was like here or something. I don't know. Just my brain. <sighs> Where can 6 go in here? I can't go next to the 7. Ah, in this box it can't go next to the 7, so that's... Six. So in this box, it's forced to be in that column. Uh, if that was a six, we would have it. This can't be a five. Oh, maybe I just misthought. Like I, I placed a five, but I meant to do something else. That might have been what I did. Like I said, 7, but then I place 5 or the reverse or whatever. I've got another 5 quad there, but that 4 figures it out. Now all the 3s are done. I think that's the only 7 left in that box, which means this is a 7. All the 7s are done now. solved. Now this needs a 4 and an 8. An 8 can't go next to 7. So that's 8, that's 4. So this must be a 4 because it can't go next to a 3. So this has to be either a 2 or a 1. Can't be a 1. That's how we get our first 2 and now we got a 2-6 pair. All of the 6 is solved by the 5. Now that's a 2. And this has to be a 9. And now this has to be a 9. This 
sure I was done. It needs a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. It needs 8. 6, 8 pair. I can figure that out. 5 there. 6 there, 8 there. Now 6 is in this box. are pretty restricted. <sighs> this could be a 6. No, it can't because of 7. Okay, nice. So now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 8 and 9. So I think this could be 8 or 9. But this has to be a 4. And I can explain that logic because um, this couldn't be a 8 or a 9. Because then this wouldn't have anything. So that had to be a 4. And because of that 7, this is a 9, this is an 8. The square can't be an 8, so that must be the 8. 8 can't go next to a 7. Similarly, 8 can't go next to a 7 here. Ah, the square is where you attack it. And that 7 gives that 8, and then that 8. And wow, that's all the 8s. Let's look at 9s now, because 9s are almost done as well. Uh, that 9 does that by normal Sudoku. And that should be all the 9s. Let's go into the 1s. That's a 1, that's a 1. Now that's a 1, and that's a 1. All just through normal Sudoku. That's a 2. that out because of that 3 there. And now we got 4 left, 4 can't go next to a 3. Uh, this has to be a 4. This has to be a 4. This has to be a 4. Look at all of these. Now where does a 4 go in here? Well, it can't be next to a 3. And that's how you solve level 2. That was a really nice short and sweet, so I might as well do one more. Okay, you know what? This one looks too hard. I'm gonna do that in a separate episode. I'll see you guys.